What's up, everybody? I am here with Sagittarius's um, April reading. I know I'm late. A lot going on, you guys. I apologize for that. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus. This may or may not resonate for you. Make sure you're checking and watching your moon, your Venus, and your ascendant sign so you can get a more in-depth um, picture of what's going on in your life and the guidance that you need. You might miss some valuable guidance. So make sure you're watching and check um, Google to find out what your moon sign is and all your other placements, right? So let's pull you guys apart. If you're interested in contacting me for whatever reason, whether it's a reading or a business, my email address is down below in the um, comment section. Okay. You have one card for Sagittarius, Summer Rising, and Venus for April. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give them a guidance card, please. Divine Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you. What's this? Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. This was upside down. A lot of you guys are kind of losing faith with something. Whatever situation is resonates for is just something like you're losing faith with. Um, I feel like, you know, what you need to do is, is excuse um, exude from more of your power space, Sagittarius. Um, thinking, knowing that everything is going to work out, having faith, that's what you need to do for that card to come out in reverse. I would think that that's what it meant. We have cycles and rhythms and prosperity. Some of you guys definitely have Virgo in your chart. Out of the cycle of your body, energy levels, and emotions, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receive. Definitely, some of you guys have Virgo in your chart because some of their energy for them. Okay, so for how I'm seeing this right now, Sagittarius. So say for instance, some of you guys are, you know, have some concerns or whatever, worries, anxiety, whatever, when it comes to your finances and your stability. They're saying that the universe is giving you downloads on what you need to do how, as, far, as far as taking steps into bringing that prosperity, bringing that money to you. But some of you guys are blocked because some of you guys are in a very, very heavy mental space of overthinking. So there's a need for you guys to get more connected. Like I just told Virgo, do some root, I'm not root chakra, do some crown chakra um, meditation, okay? Some Reiki um, for crown chakra, but do something, okay? Because you're missing valuable information. It's like having your phone on airplane mode. Somebody's trying to call you with a job opportunity, but you're, you, you can't, they can't get through to you. That's the energy I'm getting, Sag. So make sure that you're opening up your, your communication portal to the universe, okay? Because you don't want to miss anything. You don't want to miss out on what's coming towards you, okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I believe we have the Knight of Cups. And then for the other deck, we have Passion and Purpose. And then we have the Tribe. So a lot of you guys, definitely y'all got, somebody has Virgo in their chart or whatever. Or some of you guys are cross-watching for a Virgo. So for some of you guys, this is you moving forward in a, a very emotionally balanced type of energy, right? When moving towards your, it could be somebody who you're very passionate about, another person, but I feel like this has to do with your divine purpose, like what you're here for. Some of you guys are moving forward and it's like, <laughs> for some of you guys, you're moving forward with a lot of logic, a lot of, um, a lot of logic, like using a lot of logic, right? Some of you guys are going to be um, introduced to your spirit team. Maybe that's some information they need that's connected to your money. I feel like, because I even told Virgo, like there is some collaborations coming forward for you. Like there's going to be some opportunities for you to work with people to make money. But what I'm seeing is that a lot of you guys are blocked off, so you're not going to be able to see this opening this portal is going to be a portal that's going to be there for you to get some things rolling and cracking in your life but if like you're not connected then you'll miss this opportunity okay and you're going to play yourself with the seven of swords some of you guys that's that's your that's what's going to end up happening if you do not 
Connect yourself to the divine. Connect yourself to the information that wants to come to you. Some of you guys are trying to get away with something. Trying to move forward. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Scorpio, or a Pisces, or Cancer, or a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, right? But I feel like somebody is trying to get away with something. I don't think it's a malicious intent. I just think that you're trying to make some moves and you really don't want to, you, you're not showing a lot of people your hands. Like you're being very methodical. You're thinking you're coming from a very, um, a very grounded area, like a very grounded space, right? Doing things differently where you might have announced your moves before you made them in the past. Nah, not now. Some of you guys are trying to move, like some of you guys are trying to move, could be moving away from somebody, but some of you guys are trying to move too fast doing something, right? Because this is what you're trying to get to, this piece. Okay, so progress, not perfection, love life, and breathe. So some of you guys may be using some type of tactics to get a lover. And if it's meant for you to be with this person, they're saying progress, not perfection, okay? Because there's a chance for a new a renewal in a love situation, okay? But you need to breathe, take it easy, and do some like some earthing, something to ground you more, um, Sagittarius, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys are very anxious about a love situation and you may be going about this in a wrong wrong way and i feel like this could be tied in with a libra aquarius or gemini or somebody who's who's very um that doesn't you know ex it show a lot of emotions okay they always come out very balanced very kind of even smug or kind of like um you know strict stern that type of energy right but they're saying if this situation is for you some of it it is somebody some some of it is for you some of it isn't Whatever it is to be patient with the situation, okay? Breathe. Some of you guys need to do, I was telling a few signs this. Well, you guys need to breathe. So, like, take it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, breathe in. Hold it for eight seconds and then breathe out, okay? For nine seconds. So, we have the Six of Swords, Spiritual Protection, and co Create. Some of you guys are just moving towards peace. Like that is your ultimate goal. That is your ultimate everything. It's just to get through whatever you're currently going through, whatever you have been through, running away, trying to get away fast because this is what you you need. You need the Six of Swords. Could be taking two people with you or wanting to take two people with you, whatever. Or two people. It's like moving with toward peace with two other people. Like some healing, maybe a healing family situation. Moving towards safety, moving towards security, moving towards some of you guys could be all oh, some of you guys wanting to move your children somewhere, wanting to move your children to a safer environment to a place that's better, you know, like just, you know, better suited for them. That's what I feel. Maybe some of you guys feel like your children or your family isn't safe somewhere. They are protected. They are spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically protected, I say. Um, cult create. Yeah, definitely Virgo is somewhere in your chart. Are you dealing with a Virgo? Very, and this Virgo is very close to you. Cold create 40 working down to a four. So this could be you or another person. Remember, I was telling you some type of collaboration. I was telling Virgo that in their reading, and then I feel it here. There's some type of collaboration, some type of coming together to cope to create something. It depends on what that means for you. It could be creating a family dynamic, a healthier family situation, a business, some type of something, okay. But whatever it is, it's some type of collaboration that's coming. And it could be doing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I named all the signs. It could be any sign. It doesn't matter, okay? Somebody's helping you with something. Could be a project. Could, it's something like that for Sagittarius. 
this seven of swords keeps stepping out, popping out at me. I don't know what, there might be another message that comes up. We have the moon card. You could be keeping secrets, moving towards with this seven of swords for some of you guys. Moving forward, moving ahead with something could have to do with your family. Maybe you're planning something, working on something. Um, and people may see you like this. Maybe you need to be in it. <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe you need to be in this King of Swords energy to bring fruition whatever you're trying to work on. Because some of you guys are working. That's what this Seven of Swords is. Some of you guys are building or working on something. It's something you guys are getting that you don't really want nobody to know about. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And that negativity that was there for some of you guys is gone with it being in reverse. Some of you guys are needing to clear some negativity from your inner world, from your surroundings, from your environment, from people. It depends, you know. There may be some secrets. This card also gives me downloads. There may be some downloads that are going to take you from being a six of swords to seven of swords and going to bring you to this energy of having to be a king of swords, whether you're a man or a woman. And then boom, here you go. Directly from the universe for some, okay? There's a lot of happiness coming for you, okay? Because I feel like when I was saying about, like, a lot of you guys need to open up that portal to the universe. I feel like some people, maybe once or two, three people, may actually take my advice and maybe do some, some crown chakra work. Or it just may happen naturally and then, boom, you'll know your direction that you need to go to, right? Because this is what matters to you. Happiness. Happiness for you, happiness for your loved ones, whatever it is, that's what you want. You've had enough of being sad. You had enough of being depressed. You had enough of overthinking. You're ready to come out of this energy and you're ready to move forward and make progress in your life and push towards things that are going to benefit you, period, in, the, in your loved ones. King of Swords, stress reduction, purification, detoxification, and peace. So yeah, like I said, you coming out of this energy is going to put you, whether you're man or woman, in this King of Swords energy. So it's like a complete balance. It's not coming, I mean, yeah, the King of Swords is not really somebody who is like emotional or things like that. I think he shows his um, feelings towards his loved ones with action and less like, you know, you know, how some people are like really physical and very... Um, you know, they embrace their loved ones, the kids. That's not the King of Swords, whether you're a man or woman. This King of Swords is somebody who shows people what they want. Like, I'd rather give you this than kiss on you or something like that, if that makes sense. But this King of Swords, man or woman, doesn't matter. This could very easily be you if you're a woman, obviously. This is your this is a sad reading, okay? Some of you guys are detoxing your mind, body, spirits, your environments. Doing some physical, I feel like you're starting off with the physical and then it's going to go down to you guys spiritually detoxing, emotionally detoxing, you know, that type of thing. And this is going to put you in a very zen, peaceful place. This is where that change is coming from. This is then. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles right after. Some of you guys, this is not tangible. This is a new beginning <clears throat> as far as your inner world is concerned. As far as some healing for some of you guys that needed to transpire, that needed to happen. They're saying whatever emotions come up while you're going through this healing, if this fits you and you are going to be going through a healing progress process or you're about whatever it is to let yourself all your emotions. Do not run from uncomfortable emotions. I tell, I forgot what other sign I was telling that too, but don't run from your emotions. Whatever comes up, deal with it appropriately, okay? Some of you guys that feel like you have been through hell and back and you are tired and it's just, all you can do is just be in alignment with this, this new beginning, this new offer. Some of you guys, this could be an offer from an air sign for a job position or working with somebody who has their own job. Somebody may offer you something. It could be this king of swords being offered to something offered to you for some of y'all. This is you wanting to move. This is after, this is, some of you guys, this is the gift. No more. The release of chaos and conflict in your inner world, in your outer world with people who are around you. This is the end of this. This is a lot of balance coming in, emotional balance coming in. Like you're the temperance card, right, Sagittarius? So there's a lot of emotional balancing that's going on, okay? A lot of res um, a lot of things for some of you guys that may resurface. That's why they're saying let yourself uh, feel all your emotions and deal with them appropriately and, and ask the divine 
Ask your spirit team, why is these things being revealed to me? I thought this had happened. Like, why? What, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's go a little deeper. Like, feel your emotions. I feel what's going on with you, Sag. Because I feel like a lot of you, there's going to be a lot of coming up. So you're going to have to be on a, on, a, on a ready. You know what I'm saying? Be ready. Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. Period. Coming. So it's no choice. It's like for some of you guys, you got to deal with a little bit before something ends. For some of you guys, if there's something that's ending, something that's coming to a completion, then you know, hey, this is you at the edge. Releasing that chaos and releasing that conflict and having that inner balance. Some of you guys, this is an inner balance when it comes to a family situation. Learning to how to kind of like navigate through a family situation without any chaos and without any conflict. Okay. All right, so that's the end of that portion of your reading. We're going to get into your love reading. I hope that resonated, and I hope that helps in some way, okay? Let's get into the love portion. All right, let's see what's going on. What does Sagittarius need to know as far as their love life? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? Sagittarius, what do they need to know in terms of their love life? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? What is thank you? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? What do they need to know in terms of their love life? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? Sagittarius, what do they need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to thank you? What does Sagittarius need to know in terms of their love life? Thank you. You have one more card. What does Sagittarius need to know? Thank you. Oh, two more cards came out for you guys. Okay, Sag. I feel like that same energy of loving yourself that I was telling you guys some like a couple of months ago. Clarify this, make the effort. Clarify, make the effort. Okay. Clean the source coming up again. Clarify this attraction, please. Clarify this attraction card for Sagittarius. Clarify this wedding card, please, for Sagittarius. Clarify this wedding card. Clarify this wedding card for Sagittarius. Thank you. Clarify this true love for Sagittarius. Clarify this uh, love yourself first card. Let me get a clarification for love yourself first. Clarify uh, love yourself first for Sagittarius. Hold on. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Love yourself first. What does this love, love yourself first mean for Sagittarius? Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Clarify forgiving and learning. Clarify forgiving and learning, please. Alrighty. So, for some of you Sagittarius, there is new beginnings in your love life, okay? And it's in, I was telling another sign this. Um, I think it was Leo. Was it Leo? I don't remember what sign it was. But um, I was saying that, you know, sometimes the universe, our guides, whoever, will hold off love, some real shit, um, until they feel, you know, until they know we're ready, basically. Okay? Uh, 
Okay. So we have make the effort very soon at the bottom of the deck. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So we have make the effort. Okay, some of you guys are just, this is your energy when it comes to love. Or this could be how you feel about another person. It could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, but some of you guys need to make the effort, okay? Some of you guys are really in this King of Swords energy. And you need to lighten up just a little bit. I feel like you are kind of tired when it comes to love. It's like, it's a... It's like on one hand, you're like tired, like exhausted. You know, maybe some of you guys really tried to make something work. And then on the other hand, you know, you're optimistic about your love life because you know that there's true love for you. You know there's someone there for you, but it's just like you're tired, okay? Attraction. Seven of Cups and Six of Cups. So some of you guys are attracted to someone, but it's like... Is this illusion? This could be illusions for some of you guys. This could be just like some of you guys have more than one option when it comes to love. But there's someone specifically, could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, where this um, there is some past love that you see that you see above everybody else. Or you I think some of you guys have a lot of options. And if you don't have them, then you got some options, guy. Some of you guys, this is you feeling more attracted to a person because you see more than their aesthetic beauty. Like you see past that. Like you see past what this person puts up towards the world. You see deeper into their soul. And so this causes some attraction. I feel like this is this is definitely a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio for some of you guys. Or they have it in their chart. But this is somebody from your past, okay? It's a past situation. Somebody you may, some of you guys may want to rekindle, reunite with somebody. Some of you guys are married to this Queen of Pentacles, man or woman. Don't be wrapped up in the gender. Okay. Some of you guys, there's a renewal coming with this Queen of Pentacles. Some people, this is you moving on. You two people going your own separate different ways, starting a new life, starting a new beginning for some of you guys, okay? Either you, this is you or the other person, somebody who is very stable financially, stable emotionally, stable, um, they have a very, um, a very stable spiritual life for some. With the true love and the wedding card next to each other, and then the Knight of Pentacles facing the Queen of Pentacles, this could be you or another person trying to move towards, like, because you feel this person is your true love. Even if this is a situation where this is something that's supposed to end, supposed to just be done with, this is somebody coming towards that Queen of Pentacles. Whoever that Queen of Pentacles is, whether it's you or the other person, man or woman. Somebody definitely sees somebody at a true love, but they're saying to love your, yourself first. Because there can be no true love that will come to you on an external plane if you don't love yourself properly. Okay? You can sit there and you can pretend like to the world, but what does that mean for your soul? The universe knows and feels. You know if it's true or not. So why are you funk, faking the funk with other people? If you don't love yourself, that's something you need to work on, okay? Okay? Because there will not be a new beginning. There will not be a renewal. Could be with a Leo, um, Aries, or Sagittarius. There will be nothing of that sort if you do not step into this energy of loving yourself. Because you are going to become, when you love yourself, you guys, and, you know, it's people can smell it on you. They know it. They can feel it. You know what I'm saying? You exude that energy. You exude that scent of self-assurance, self-love, all that. Self-value, valuing yourself. Some of you guys are not listening to your intuition. You're not going within. You're not meditating. You're not doing none of that. Some of you guys are feeling exhausted. Like you like feel like you like come from this energy where you pretty much put everything out there for a situation and then there's no beginning, right?
forgiving and learning as you re as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so some of you guys need to forgive yourself i'm hearing and then you need to forgive other people in other situation could be a family situation from when excuse me when you were um a child could have to do with a capricorn taurus or virgo or you have these placements in your chart Some of you guys just have to do with a karmic situation, a karmic relationship. So some of you guys, this is emerging from a situation that was toxic for both, for two people, right? With the judgment card. The judge, let me see, let me see these three cards. These are clarifiers. Forgiving and learning. Healing. Some of you guys want to heal something. Because you feel like this is a prize. This is something worth. This is something. Some, this, shh, you guys, please. This is something like. Some, some of you guys feel like this is something. It's like, okay, forgiving and learning. You come out of this. You be in this energy of forgiving. Forgiving you. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving someone else. Something that was toxic, something that was just low vibrational. This could just be involved. Verify this page of pentacles. Oh, yeah. Remember I was saying somebody feels like this is a prize. So the, you or the other person, even though you've been here, right? With this page of pentacles, when I clarified it, I got the empress and I got the ace of swords. It could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. But this feels like this situation, even though it's toxic, right? Even though this is toxic, this is karmic for a lot of you guys. This is how you feel about this person. You see them as Victoria. You see like them as the prize. The prize. Okay? With this empress card. You can feel like they're heaven sent. Like this, I, I I don't want nobody else. This is this is exactly what I want. But this is the problem, y'all. This is the problem. It's not that the person is bad, of course. It's not that you're bad. It's just that sometimes two people together aren't good for each other. But you definitely see this person as this, whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. This is a prize. This is something you feel like this is. This is, I, I'm not going to get this nowhere else. This could also mean right here, you can feel like that all you want, but the, the universe could be getting ready to po po blow the horn or something. This is the judgment card. I gave you enough time to kind of like mess around and, and see what's what and you learn your lessons, but now it's time to, time to end. That's it. For some of you guys, that's what it is. Is that, or is some, some of you guys, it could just be, some of you guys, it could be healing for this situation. But for you, many, I don't really feel that way. I feel like something is coming to a close, but this is how you feel about this person. So it's going to be difficult for you, okay? But make sure you're going within, going meditating, okay? Turn this card upside down, meditate, go within, contemplate, okay, Sag? Open up that crown chakra, okay? I love you guys. I hope this helped. Peace. Take care, okay?